Hi, I'm Jay from Trident, and today we're going to talk about how to remove efflorescence. If there is a white cloudy stain on your surface, it could be efflorescence. Efflorescence occurs naturally when moisture escapes from the system, bringing with it available minerals that dry on the surface once the water has evaporated. If the white stain is not visible when wet, it is most likely efflorescence. Triton's white water will remove efflorescence mineral and salt deposit stains quickly. It also cleans irrigation, iron, and hard water stains. It will prepare the surface for sealing by creating optimal conditions for sealer adhesion and ultimate aesthetic value. Its concentrated formula is customizable to the strength your project needs. Before you begin, check that the weather forecast and site conditions fall within the application guidelines found on the label or tech data sheet. Remove any furniture and cover plants that you wish to protect. After spot cleaning any stains, it's time to clean the efflorescence from the surface. For successful results, start with a dry surface. You will need a quart-sized mixing cup, clean five-gallon pail, stiff bristle broom, sprayer, flat surface cleaner attachment, and pressure washer. Be sure to test the cleaner on your surface to determine the dilution rate and dwell time you will need for successful cleaning. Only use as strong of a solution or dwell time needed to sufficiently clean. To dilute, pour the desired amount of cleaner and water into a clean, empty five-gallon pail or sprayer. Gently mix. Spray the dilution onto the surface. Let dwell for three to five minutes. If the cleaner starts to dry during the dwell time, spray additional diluted product. On large projects, it may be necessary to work in smaller, more manageable sections. To assist with breaking down the efflorescence, agitate the surface with a stiff bristle broom or use a flat surface cleaner attached to a pressure washer. Next, rinse thoroughly. Do not use excessive high pressure, which can damage the substrate. An alternative method is to spray the diluted cleaner onto the surface. Then, after the initial foam collapse, reapply the cleaner. This can be done one to two additional times until it no longer foams on the surface. Do not allow the cleaner to dwell on the surface for more than three minutes between applications. Agitate the surface, then rinse. Let the surface dry to view final results. If surface staining is still visible, you may need to clean again with a stronger concentration or longer dwell time. Surface should be completely dry before proceeding with joint sand installation or applying a sealer. Triton products are professional grade and field proven for over 30 years. We offer technical support and training, which is critical to your success with surface restoration. For more product information and additional videos, visit us online at tridentprotects.com.